Welcome to 10 questions to ask yourself before adopting a mini pig from lifewithpigs.com. The first thing to ask yourself is, do I have time for the pig? Pigs love attention. They want to spend time with you. They're going to want to cuddle with you. They're going to want to hang out with you. And so if you don't think you have time to do that, your pig's going to be sad. They're going to get bored, which can lead to them getting destructive. It can be helpful to have more than one pig. We have three pigs that live in our condo with us and they do entertain each other, but we also spend a lot of time with our pigs because we adore them. But many pigs get abandoned because they get destructive because the person that adopted them just didn't have time for them. The next thing to ask yourself is, do you mind being woken up for breakfast every day? Pigs love consistent meal times and they prefer to eat early breakfast. Our pigs wake up sometimes around five in the morning and see if they can trick us into getting out of bed to feed them. We try to push it back to at least 6.30, but they almost treat it like a game to see how early they can get breakfast. And you wanna make sure you have a great place nearby to buy food specific to mini pigs. Most tractor supply companies carry Missouri brand mini pig food. You just want to make sure that you're feeding them a mini pig specific food so they're getting all the nutrients they need to live a healthy life. Have you found a local vet? You need to find a vet that specializes in mini pigs. Not just any vet can treat mini pigs and you don't want to wait till it's an emergency to be searching in a panic for a vet. If you go to minipiginfo.com, they have a great resource for helping you locate a vet that specializes in mini pigs near you. Also, you want to ask yourself, can you afford the vet bills that might come up? Pigs are relatively healthy but you do want to get them spayed and neutered. And just to get our three pigs spayed, it cost us about $600 each. So that can get pricey and things do come up. Our little Millie, the pig in the middle there, had something come up where in one month we spent about $1,000 dealing with the health issue. And they're so worth it and you're gonna to wanna to make sure you give them the best care. So just make sure that you can afford anything that does come up. Are you ready to work through behavior issues that come up? Your pigs are going to test you. You can see the picture there of Millie, who's sleeping in the stuffing from our cushion on our couch, which Pumpkin ripped a hole in. They're going to acquire these bad habits. They're going to do things that you either aren't expecting or that they're not supposed to do. It's like adopting a child, so just be prepared to teach them not to abandon them when something goes wrong. Also, do you live in a place that allows mini pigs? You're going to want to check your local ordinances or call your local government and ask them if it's allowed in the area that you live to have mini pigs. And do you have a yard or a place outside that's safe for them to explore? If you live in an apartment where you basically just have a sidewalk outside, it's probably not the best idea. Pigs like to root, they like to eat grass or clover. They're going to want to be outside, so make sure you have access to that near you. Is your home pig-proofed? Pigs need a safe place to sleep, to play, to live. They may chew on things, they may knock things over. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that the place that they're in is safe for them. Also, you wanna ask yourself, are you ready for them to be 150 pounds? Many pigs never stay small. People think that the pig on the left there at the top, which is Eldon, a six week old piglet, is what they're gonna be getting sometimes when they hear you know, people advertise teacup pigs, but the reality is that most pigs are gonna end up around 150 pounds regardless of what you're told. And one of my favorite pigs, Ziggy the Traveling Piggy on the bottom there is about 260 pounds, and I believe he was supposed to be a teacup piglet. You also wanna ask yourself, do I travel a lot? Traveling with mini pigs is possible, but it's difficult. You need to get special papers signed by a vet saying that your pig is healthy to travel with. So um, in our case, we have an RV so we can travel with our th three pigs because it takes up a lot of space in the car to bring your pigs. So if it's something that you do a lot and you don't want to deal with hassle, then getting a mini pig might not be right for you. But we love traveling with our pigs in our RV, so it's, it's definitely doable. How long have you been wanting a companion pig? Getting a mini pig is not something you should do on a whim. 
If you do it for the right reason, it's going to be the best thing you ever chose to do. But if you do it just because you think piglets are cute, as soon as they're done being a piglet, you're going to want to abandon them. And then there's more pigs out there that need homes. And so I do urge you to adopt a pig because there are so many pigs that have been abandoned because people thought they were going to get a, a 10 or 20 pound pig and ended up with a 100 pound pig. And those pigs need homes, they need love, and they, they'll be just as great of a companion as any pig you know, that you could get as a piglet. So please check that out. If you go to minipiginfo.com, there's all kinds of information on rescuing a pig. And finally, visit lifewithpigs.com for more information about living with mini pigs and the adventures of Millie, Charlotte, and Pumpkin. Thanks for watching.